All right, guys, here it is, the ADV 160, 2025, ABS model, in pearl blue. Just come out of the crate two days ago, and I tell you what, this thing is looking sharp, super sharp. We have the key fob in hand, plus the rag, so let's get it going. All right, we got the, uh, the digital dash, got the RPMs are in digital, that's nice. We got the temperature, which is 103 degrees. It is like the desert out here. It feels like your feet sit lower too. It's really more comfortable than the uh, my whole uh, Honda ADV 150. Guys, it is super windy out here. It is super hot. This is Maryland, not Arizona. But it feels like it. All right, we're going to take it all the way down to the end of the road here. Yes, it comes in two colors this year. Pearl blue and metallic black. And I'm telling you what, this pearl blue looks absolutely amazing. definitely got some pep to it all right let's go ahead and just pull it right here yeah there it is a Honda ADV 160 man that thing does look sharp all right let's dive into it guys All right, guys, we have the ADV 160 2025 made by Honda. It's a single cylinder, four stroke liquid cooled engine. The weight comes in at 294, so you're under 300 pounds. Gas mileage is a whopping 300, 134 miles per gallon in a 2.1 gallon tank. The seat height is 30.7, so it sits pretty low. It comes in pearl blue and the matted black metallic and it is v-bell driven yes this is your 2025 adv looking really really sharp all right guys so i end up having to do a voiceover on this because the wind was way too strong but we're going to take a look at the windshield and you can pop that out and i'll show you later when we're riding and you can push that down or up all right, we're going to move over here, and we do have the uh, park brake, parking brake, which is a very nice feature. You got your foot rest, and then you can prop your feet up here, and that's a really good feature when you're doing your longer rides. You got your back foot peg for your passenger, and it does have plenty of room for a passenger there in the back. And you have your uh, center stand and it also has a uh, kickstand so you can um, sit it both ways. 
All right, so we have your high beams, your low beams. We have your blinkers right there. We have your horn. We have the kill switch, the starter, your hazards, and there's your ignition. And you see we have a digital tachometer speedometer you have your time and your temperature all digital and how many miles you have on this bad boy as well all right now we're going to look under the seat and look at the gas tank and all you have to do is move that knob to seat and open hit the fuel i mean the seat And the ADV does have a nice little storage. You got enough room for one helmet. You got some room for some bags. And then the wind takes the seat. So we'll go ahead and shut that. And then you go over here and just hit the fuel button. Like so. And that will pop that. And you just and you have a place to put your uh, fuel cap, which is very nice. All right, we have your um, you have your brake lights, you have your blinkers, you have reflectors, and you have a spot to put your uh, license plate on. Just an all around really really sharp color. I just love it. And you got your little extra spot here. Push that in. And you should have a USB in there. Yep, there it is. You can charge your phone. Put a couple little things in there, your sunglasses or what have you. And now I'm just going to take you through a little walk around and let you just take a look at the bike and all its beauty. All right, guys, so we're going to jump on the ADV, take a couple laps around here. I tell you what, being a former ADV 150 owner, I tell you, this color on this thing, Honda was stuck on that red with this bike for a long time. And they switched it up now with the uh, pearl blue and the metallic um, matte black. But I'm telling you, this, this, this bike is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I can remember just whipping this thing around town, very light, 230 some odd, 240 some odd pounds. Now see, this is what I'm talking about with this. You can either you can keep it up or you can just go like this and pop it down. But I'm like, I'm loving the all digital uh, tack here. It's pr it's very bright. Uh, you do have a thing here. You can change different settings and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this bad boy for a spin. Oh my gosh, this thing's so comfortable. This is the perfect country going through town, byways. Um, I don't think this is really made for the highway. Um, I remember the uh, ADV 150 getting up to about, it did really good between in the mid 50s, but I think I hit like 61. So you got 10 more C CCs. So I'm thinking maybe 64, 65 tops on a good day. I can't get over how 
I guess I'm so used to the uh, X-Max, I can't get over how light this thing feels. This right here is a perfect little starter scooter for anybody. It's not intimidating at all. Lightweight, looks good. Again, this is not my bike, so I'm not going to be rough on it. I'm not going to try to... But it's going 42, 43, 44, simple, very easily. Very simple. Barely hardly pulling on the throttle. You know what it actually feels like? It actually feels like you're sitting on a street bike. It really does. It feels like you're riding a street bike. And it kind of has got that look to it, too. It's like a small, like a smaller version of a, a street bike. Look how, look how agile this thing is. It just whips around. It's just so much fun. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in this bad boy, head on over to Twig Cycles and ask for Ben. Tell him Slow Riders Motor Vlog sent you. And you'll be getting a really, really nice 160cc scooter. That looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a great bike. All right, guys, remember, like, subscribe, comment below. Stay tuned for more bike reviews, adventures, and so much more. Until next time, Slow Riders Motovlog is out of here.